So today we'll take a look at a new module from the Geodesics collection, Twin Paradox, which is a clock module, but as always with the Geodesics, it has many unique features and an interesting twist to it. We will start with the basic functionality and then dig deeper into the different features. So in its core, Twin Paradox is a clock module with two main outputs. We have Twin 1 and Twin 2. By default, they will output the same clock. So I have here the ions sequencer again from the geodesics. This will eventually sequence two oscillators, dark energy and energy. Right, so I can use Twin 1 to sequence one of the sequences of ions. Ions has two sequences, the blue one and the yellow one. So I can use Twin 1 to clock the blue sequence. This will go to the local clock input. And then uh, I change the state to blue. And now this Twin 1 will clock only the blue sequence. Right, and I can do the same with Twin 2 and the yellow sequence. This will go to the local clock and then change the state to yellow. Right now, of course, we can change also the BPM. We have, for example, tap tempo. Right, so you can tap the tempo. Right, or you can change this also manually. Right, uh, these two voices are going also through a delay. I have here the delay from Surge XT. So if I add this a bit, I can also sync it. We have here um, sync output on Twin Paradox with a few modes. If you click this button here, you see you have multiplied by 1, multiplied by 24, 48, and CV. So you can sync it to, uh, or sync other modules to Twin Paradox. So in this case, I'm just going to use multiplied by 1 and then sync the clock or sync the delay, sorry. Right, and now we can use the main feature or the twist of Twin Paradox, introducing time dilation between the two twins, between the two clocks, by sort of sending one of the twins through space at high speed, which is basically changing the timing of one of the clocks. So by default, we have a ratio of 4 or, uh, to 8 or 8 to 4, right? We have reference time. This is the twin that stays um, on Earth, let's say. And we have the traveler time. This will be the twin that will travel through space. This will be the twin that will, the timing will change according or depending on the ratio between the reference time and the traveler time. So again, by default, it's eight on four. So it's basically two to one. We get a multiplication of two, right? So now if I send one of the twins uh, through space, in this case, it will be the blue twin. I can do this with this button here. You can see travel, right? I click it as soon as this, as this um, cycle will end, it will travel and then we'll get a multiplication of two. Pay attention here to the twin. Right, and you can see this also here. Right, this is the reference time and this will be the traveler time. You can see the, sp the speed is increasing. changing in this case again a multiplication of two because of the ratio it's set again four to eight or eight to four if i change the reference time to two for example right now we have eight to two it's basically four to one so it's multiplied by four right again i will do this again right so now the twin one will run four times the rate. Right, so again, we send them to space. Um, basically, we just create a different ratio between the clocks. Right, and we can trigger this uh, also externally. Right, so on ions, we have here probability for the blue sequence to jump to the yellow sequence and the yellow sequence to jump to the blue sequence. Right, so I can add probability to this. Right, you see now both of them are here. And there is probability that they will jump right to the second sequence, either one of them or both of them. Right, so now I can use a trigger output whenever, for example, the yellow sequence jumps, it will trigger an output that will then trigger the travel.
right? And again, the treble is nothing but changing the ratio between the reference clock or reference time and the traveler time. Right, and like this you can add variation with different clocks between twin one and twin two. Now we also have here the meet output. This will output a trigger whenever both timelines meet each other. You can see this here also, right? If you have a look here on the light and you can see they will, it will tr output a trigger whenever they meet, whenever they are on the first step. Right, never mind if they travel or not, they will always meet on the first step. Right, they will always meet at the beginning. So we can use this trigger output to trigger, for example, another twin paradox. Here I have another setup. Twin paradox, for now it's not running. We have here also a run section, so it's turned off. But it will trigger sample and hold here with brains that will sequence another dark energy. Right, so I can use the meet output to trigger the run on the second twin paradox here, so it will run and stop it. You can see it here. And there are a few options in the right-click menu. Right, you can choose what happens when it starts, what happens when it stops. Um, but one option here is meet only at end of travel. So if I turn this on, now only when the blue uh, clock travels and only when it ends, only then it will output a uh, trigger from the mid output, so it will happen less often, right? So now we have also this twin paradox running less often, you see now it's off. Let's wait for it. Now it's on, right? Again, according to the travel or according to the clock of twin one, on the first twin paradox. Right, so you can hear already how much movement and variation there is. This just needs a nice bass drone that I have here with a few energy modules going through Taurus, in this case a filter, and pulsars, also geodesics, a crossfader, another dark energy for modulation, nice sub oscillator. We can go even deeper with this idea of time dilation and add probability to it. So first of all, we can of course sync twin paradox to external clocks. Here I have a clock coming from clocked from impromptu. It's a multiplied by 24 clock. Um, as I always do, I'm using the Venom Bay module to transport the clock signals across the patch. So I have it coming out of here. I can send this to the sync input of twin paradox and it will by default set a, a correct mode, but you can change the mode if you want. There is a P24 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 48. There is also a CV mode, right? But it will um, detect the clock that you need um, by default. So in this case, again, multiplied by 24. I can also say, uh, use the reset just in case. So again, everything stays in sync. Also here I have Twin Paradox driving ions, both sequences, the blue sequence and the yellow sequence. This will again sequence two voices, dark energy. Right, so we have two voices running here with ions. And now just for fun, let's set a different ratio. So for example, a ratio of 5 to 4. So the reference time will stay on 4, the traveler time will be on five. This will give us queen tuplets. So if I trigger this once, right? So we have queen tuplets. I will do this again. 
Right, and now first of all we can add probability to the travel, so chance that one twin will go into space, basically chance that one clock, the timing of one clock will change. We can do this here, right, with this knob here, if I take this all the way up, right, there is a 100% chance that the in this case the blue twin will travel, will change its timing, so it's always on quintuplets in this case. Right, I will take this to about 50%, so there is 50% chance that the twin will travel into space. Again, this just means that it will change its timing. Right, but we can also add probability to which twin will go into space, so which clock will have variation to it. And this we do with this knob here, again, all the way to the left, it's just the blue twin. All the way to the right, it's just the yellow twin. Right, just like here. But also here we can change this to about 50%. So again, there is about 50% that one of the twins will travel, and 50% which one of them will travel. Right, so you can take this idea and add probability to it. I will add also some delay here. I have Nimbus from Surge XT for pitch shifting and the delay from Surge XT for delay. Right, now of course we also have CV inputs for the reference time and for the traveler time, so we can also modulate this externally, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I have here another twin paradox. Again, I have some, uh, or in this case, all the way up. Uh, the probability to travel is all the way up, so it will always travel. In this case, it will be just the blue twin, right, because it's set all the way to blue. But I have here the step sequencer from Secret Cell sequencing the traveler time, so it will always travel through space, but the timing will always change. This is again sequencing dark energy, it's a sort of a base. So like this you can also add some variation. I have here, um, here some drums, so I have the mid output of another Twin Paradox triggering a kick drum. Right, with Pellet going through Tap Dancer. But I have Twin 1 and Twin 2, this is set with probability to travel and probability of which one will travel. Right, and this is uh, triggering once a closed hi-hat and once an open hi-hat. So we get also some variation there. And I also have some ducking for the bass. Something fun you can try is using Twin Paradox as a burst generator. In this case, I have the travel probability all the way up, so the blue sequence will always travel. So if I run this now, right, it will always run, uh, again, it's sequencing uh, dark energy in this case. Right, so now it always runs, but if I set, uh, send the mid output back to the run input, and set the in the right click menu the meet only at the end of travel. Whenever it ends the travel, it will send the trigger to stop the clock. So if I run it now, right, we get one cycle and then it stops because again the meet output will output a trigger at the end of the travel. Right? And of course we can do this also externally, so I have here a clock division of 8, I can just send this to the same run input, right, this will basically be combined here at the input, right, and now we have sort of a burst generator. Right, and again we can also change the traveler time, so if I use a, an external sequencer, Right, we will get different bursts. I will add some delay here, I have echo. Now 
Now another fun idea is to mix the clocks and use them as pitch information. Here I have two twin paradox. They are both set with travel probability and with twin probability. So which one of them will change? And you can see I'm using the VCA mix to mix them. Those are basically gates. And from these gates, we get a pitch sequence that I'm then quantizing and again sequencing dark energy. Right, so according to the timings of the different clocks here, twin one or twin two, we will get a different sequence, different timings. It can be a bit wonky at times. Right, so it can change um, quite often. And it's also really fun to use Twin Paradox for pinging. Again, those are just gates and you can use gates for pinging. Um, filters, in this case, I have two um, bandpass filters. And what I'm doing here, right, I'm using a VCO, a modulated VCO to sync or to drive Twin Paradox. You can see the BPM is always changing. So we get something a bit more chaotic. Right, it will, again, it will always travel, but uh, uh, um, it will be either twin one or twin two that will travel according to the probability. So this can add a nice effect, pinging effect to your patches. Right, this just needs a nice bass line that I have here with the dark energy, some distortion, chorus, and the phrase sequencer from impromptu, sequencing everything. Let me just reset this. Right, and there's of course so much more to explore with this lovely module. I really hope I could uh, at least give you a few ideas to try. And um, thanks again to the Geodesics team for their beautiful work. And um, thank you for watching. Cheers.